Sometimes we go through hardship, and it looks like this is going to be our end. We look around and help is not coming from all angles, so we feel like giving up. Beloved, God is opening doors of opportunities for you where there seems to be no way, and you shall prosper. He is commanding the four corners of the earth to bring help to you, and they will not rest until everything in your life has fallen into perfect shape. The challenges we face make us feel that it is God's will for us to keep on suffering. The devil and his agent will do everything in their power to make sure you keep on seeing the Lord as such a person until you finally give up on him. Beloved, the devil as we know him is a liar and that hasn't changed about him. You must understand that the desires of God are for us to prosper and not to perish. The Lord speaking says, If our earthly parents can give us good gifts, then how about him who created us? God desires your success in all you do because he is a good father. He's not someone who's just sitting down somewhere and waiting for you to fail, just like the devil has made you believe. God is looking at you with the same love that he used the day he created you. And because of that love, he will cause you to prosper. God is changing your level and taking you to a new level where you will never witness suffering again. You will become an inspiration to many people out there. You should prosper in all you do in this season. Everything your hand touches will be blessed beyond your wildest imagination, and even you will not be able to understand where they are coming from. The Bible speaking in Psalm chapter 128 verse 2 says, You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Beloved, this is going to be your portion today and forever. As you are prospering, the devil will not send any sickness on the way that will stop you from enjoying the goodness of God. It shall be well with your health, well with your family, well with everything that is connected to you. The devil's power over you has been taken away, and he ceases to have access to touch anything that concerns you so that your joy may be complete. Death will not take you in this season. You will live to eat the fruit of your labor. Many people have died on the verge of their breakthrough, at that point where they want to start enjoying the goodness of God in their lives. That is when the devil will take their lives. Beloved, that is not going to be your portion. The Lord is going to give his angels charge over you and nothing shall by any means touch you. It is well with you in your going and your coming. With a long life, the Lord will sustain you to eat all he blessed you with. According to Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, The blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it. And so, Nothing shall cut you short from enjoying the blessings of God. No sorrow shall come near you, and for the rest of your life, you will keep on singing a new song. You shall prosper, and you shall not die. In Jesus' name, amen. Still, the same word of God speaking in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12 says, The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. For your sake, the Lord will open his good treasures to bless the works of your hands. Beloved, you must understand that in all the Lord's promise to prosper you, your hands must be busy so that they might be blessed. If your hands do not find anything to do, then what do you expect the Lord to bless? You shall prosper. But first, find something to do no matter how small it is. When the Lord decides to prosper a man, he's not concerned about the size of the business. He will not say the blessings will be too much. He just opens the doors of heaven for your sake. God is sending multiple contracts to you in this season. He is bringing investors from the four corners of the earth for your sake. Nothing shall by any means affect your business. In this season of your prosperity, everything the enemy has stolen from you, you shall recover. All the years you have lost, 
the Lord will return it to you in double folds till everything about you is set. The Lord will not rest. As the Lord shall prosper, you must hold his words close to your heart so that you will be able to follow in his step. And the devil will not be able to touch you anymore. The Bible made us understand in Psalm chapter 84 verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and favor. No good thing he does he withholds from those who walk uprightly. The Lord is a sun and shield. And yes, he bestows favor and honor. But it is to those who walk uprightly with him. Beloved, decide to walk uprightly with the Lord come what may. Shun every act of sin that stands as a hindrance between you and your prosperity. Allow the Lord to do for you what He alone is capable of doing. Now it is the time that the enemy will come after you with different types of temptation to sin, but you can make a declaration never to go back to a life of sin, and the Lord will favor you. You shall prosper this season, and sin shall not have victory over your soul. Sin has lost every power that it uses to stand against you and your prosperity. You shall prosper in the land of your forefathers and everywhere that you find yourself. In whatever area of your life that you want the prosperity of God to locate you, God will meet you at that very point so that your joy may be complete. Every spirit of stagnation that has been holding you for so long the blood of Jesus is breaking you from that circle and you shall move. You are moving to greater heights. Nothing is holding you back because he who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. My prayer for you today is that may the Lord give you the grace to remain in his ways. May he give you the strength to shun evil and may you begin to experience this prosperity within the shortest possible time. In Jesus' name, Amen. He who the Son of Man has blessed, no man has the power to curse. You are blessed, and no one can take that away from you. The devil and his agent have lost a power over your life, and from today henceforth, you will begin to see prosperity and light in everything that your hands touch, today and always. Remain blessed.